Welcome everyone to another episode of the Minnesota Vikings Madden 25 Fantasy Draft. Today's episode facing off against the Cleveland Browns. And after kind of figuring out last game that we are a running team, not a passing team, I think we'll fare a lot better than we have in the regular season games we have played so far. Plus we're also, I think, at home for the first time, so that'll help us. And Josh Freeman is their quarterback, so... I mean, the Browns are the Browns, and Josh Freeman is Josh Freeman. I guess we'll take our field goal this time. Gano's kick is up and good. Alright, guess pass. I got the seam from 13. Oh, pick it off! You are joking. Can't get the interception. Just completely miss a tackle and we don't get there in time. This, I hate this game. Like, of all the Maddens I've played, Madden 25 is easily my least favorite so far. Like, should have had the interception. Didn't animate. Should have had the tackle there. Just completely missed. Heavy box here. Okay, that pass interference, I would have liked on either of the receivers out there to the left. Like on Victor Cruz, there was pass interference. On Carrier in the middle, there was pass interference. But, you know, we're not going to call that. Because that would make sense and be realistic. Do not let him catch that. Bro, what is this game? I'm... This might, this might actually be the last episode of the series. I doubt we'll be able to do anything here, but you never know. I mean, I do know. We're not going to do anything. Yep. Just as I thought. Oh, PA tight end cross. Bro, no way. Like, I don't understand. It looks like he has him beat, and then at the last second, he just come out of nowhere and intercept the ball. Amadola is perfect for these situations. There we go. Alright. This is a one, seven point game now. Dennis Dixon touchdown pass to Kellen Winslow. It's about to happen. Or it's Carrier. One of the two. It's Winslow. Yeah. Oh, 25 career touchdowns for Cullen Winslow. I'm only running QB power with Dennis Dixon. If we score a touchdown, great. If we don't, no problem. I'm in no rush. Obviously, I will take a touchdown with Dennis Dixon, of course. And I'll put us up a score. I probably should have kneeled it, but that's boring. And I don't like to be boring. There's no need for a, th a rush. He Freeman probably should have taken off there. We're going to be completely honest. Oh, that, that was almost really bad. That almost was... If we had fumbled and lost it, I might have put a booth review. What are they reviewing? The fumble? I mean, this is an interesting camera shot. Challenge. So what, they... 
he does it matter if it's a fumble or not? It's clearly not. But does it really matter? Well, it was called one oh, it's overturned. Oh no, we moved back, what, eight yards? But we got the dub. It was not pretty. I don't understand. Like, our that fourth quarter was just so good. But the first three were just so bad. Like, Vince Young is definitely the new starter. No question about that. Mike Vick's relegated to the bench. Dennis Dixon's our backup. But yeah, I mean, we didn't even get the running game going that much. Because Best just carried us that one drive. Four sacks from Sue, three from Wake, two from Jared Allen. And that is the, that's how we stay in these games. Because, oh my. Hey, having a three, like, everyone says if you can have a four-man rush and get to the quarterback, it's very good. And, you know, you'll be able to set up your defense. You'll pretty much be able to lock down anybody. But with a three-man rush, it is so easy. But... Next episode, facing off against the 1-2 and two Steelers. Vince Young's first time starting at quarterback, so it might be a blowout if these the trends continue. And I will see you all then. Welcome everyone to the second game of the second episode of the Vikings Madden 25 Fantasy Draft. Today's episode, we're facing off against the Pittsburgh Steelers. So we're going to go ahead and let's check out the Steelers team. Something I haven't done on these previous episodes, but I just thought of, you know, it should be good to, you know, scout the opponent we're about to play. So the Pittsburgh Steelers, thankfully, are missing Patrick Willis, star linebacker for them. Got a good punter, good young Von Miller, Troy Palmalu, Tucker. Their offense, they're missing Devin Hester as well. So their offense is Jordan Cameron and Willis McGahee. Who is their quarterback? Their quarterback is Mike Glennon. Now I'm not gonna sit here and say, oh, we're the best team in the league. But if we lose to this Steelers team, like this is worse than the real life Steelers. All right, we're gonna go a nice little halfback delay, halfback, never mind, we're gonna audible. We're going slants. Why isn't the defender following the wide open guy? Like I understand it was a bad throw, but I don't, I've got heavy feet in the pocket. I can't trust our own line. And why, why, if you know you're going to be potentially getting the ball, why aren't you in front of the defender? Like, why do you just allow the defender just to get right in front of you? It's ridiculous. It was going to be nice and nice and simple. Hey, Darius Hayward Bay is the touchdown or Amendola is the touchdown? What was that throw, Vic? That was horrible. And Square, Hayward Bay never even got off his route. Like, he got jammed so bad he couldn't even run. Like, I need to see this replay. Jeez. Let's run in the deep route who has a lot of speed. But their safeties have played very good so far today. But, best is a touchdown. Well, why don't these receivers run their route like they want to catch the ball? Like, why are we running away from the ball? Like, you have the speed. Keep running your route. And then, it, just the DB just is faster than him somehow? Idiot. 
All right, we're going to call a nice little play action rollout here. I'm looking at Kellen Winslow. Hey, Kellen Winslow needs to be a touchdown. We just take it in with Dennis Dixon. We just take it in with the Dennis Dixon. All right, that only took putting in our backup quarterback, backup running back, and calling a play I would never really call before to score a touchdown. But we will take our touchdown to pretty much put us down seven heading into the half. And shout out best Steelers quarterback ever, Dennis Dixon. Let's try the toss week, assuming they come out in another heavy goal line set, which they do. So if Jones can throw a block on that, I think it's number 57, this is a touchdown. All right, there we go. Brandon Jacobs rushing touchdown. Not the traditional Brandon Jacobs rushing touchdown. So there's a little toss to the outside. But in Wembley, we'll equalize 14 to 14, pending the extra point, obviously. But still, got down the field. They're making stupid mistakes. Call the right place for the right situation. Get the touchdown. And a good block on the outside from, I think that was Victor Cruz. It might, it might have been Darius Hayward Bay. I don't know whoever it was. Good job. All right, guess pass. Third and 18. Just kind of drop back. Yes, Williams! Finally got to intercept one of these, and now we can go. Never mind. Good tackle, 84. But most importantly, good interception, Williams. Finally got a one-on-one -on -one to go our way. And just a very good job. Tracking back, making the play. And we scored 14 unanswered. Thanks to that, I think we can make it 21. Gut. Assuming they don't come out in goal line, they do not. Halfback gut up the middle. Should ice the game. Brandon Jacobs finds a way. Give the ball to the big man in those goal line situations. He'll make a play. Second rushing touchdown of the game. And a very well-deserved drive for us. Slowly march down the field methodically and safely. Take some time off the clock. And when it counts, give it to the big man. Let him rumble into the end zone. End of the game. Need something big here. Well, that's something pretty big, I guess. I mean, I would just assume that's something big. That's just a game ceiling pick six. Cody Sensabaugh, 28 unanswered points. Getting in the game, thought we were going to lose. Horrible trip to Wembley was going to be. Boy, have we bounced back. Like I said, 28 unanswered points. They got a pick six earlier in the game. We get a pick six to seal the game. Beautiful job, Cody Sensabaugh, reading that route. And that is going to make us 4-0. So that was definitely not how I was expecting this game to end up finishing. After that, pretty bad start, but 28 unanswered points. Let's go ahead and look at the stats for the game. Obviously, the score is the only one that matters, but aside from that, we also did very well offensively. Just, I just kept throwing, I just made bad decisions at the wrong time. Just no other way to put it. And for, I don't know how many games in a row, all three quarterbacks threw a pass at one point. Michael Vick had the most yards with 169. However, he had one interception. Vince Young had two. Dennis Dixon, Dennis Dixon had zero. So, I, or kind of like the Steelers in real life, quarterback position is going day by day. Running the ball-wise, Le'Veon Bell had a couple of big runs. But Brandon Jacobs had some very, very crucial runs. Seven carries, 35 yards, two touchdowns. And honestly, this is kind of how I want it to look like running the ball wise. I mean, Le'Veon get, will get the draws, will get the big shotgun runs. But Brandon Jacobs, when it counts, kind of down low, getting the big, big runs. I mean, Victor Cruz even had a jet sweep that almost went in for a touchdown. Dennis Dixon on a nice little scramble. Our nice little goal line quarterback package is working pretty well. Receiving, Kellen Winslow led the team. He did get hurt, so that could hurt us in the future. But Victor Cruz, three, carry, three catches, 53 yards. Amendola, carrier. They only had one catch, but they were both third and longs. So I'm very okay with what they did. Ooh, whoa. We had two pancakes from Hayward Bay and Victor Cruz. That's eh, not that bad. 
Kids are right led the team in tackles. Also the team in sacks with two. Seal Moore and Cameron Wake both had a sack as well. Sense of ball with a pick six. Williams with just a regular interception. Graham Gano didn't miss a kick. No kick return, no punt returns. But a good, solid win. I mean, 28 unanswered. You do kind of expect to win that game. Need to definitely work on not starting off the first half so slow. So, probably what we're going to try to do next week. But thankfully, looks like our division is absolutely horrible. So that should give us a little bit of confidence. Next best team are the Lions, who are 2-2. Two two. So, feel pretty good about where things are going. Just want to make sure that we kind of fix things. And actually, I think the first change... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ch change the death chart a little bit for you guys. It's, I think changes are necessary. Let's start my Vic. Let's start Le'Veon Bell. Wide receivers. Let's put Brandon Frank thanks to the three. We just need a little bit of speed out there. Amendola just won't give it to us every time. So, those are the changes we're going to make. Let's check the schedule, see what teams we're going to be playing in next week's episode. Or, no, next episode. Oh, wait, so you actually have a bye week. And then it's Panthers and Giants. Okay. Oh, actually, yeah, our bye week's right now. So, go ahead and simulate that. Take a look at the standings. Hopefully, they can just keep losing and losing and losing. They did not. Lions are 3-2. and two. But we're facing the 2-2 two two Panthers in the next episode. But hopefully you guys like this new style. I think it's a lot better than the ones previous. Subscribe if you have enjoyed. And I will see you all for the next episode.